Going back to the CMP33, Sharon asked a very good question. I think it's going to show uh, a lot of concerns from people who use these meters and how they should use them. She said, if the CMP33 measures RF1 from 1 megahertz to 8 gigahertz, can you show us how the lights would look different if they're picking up like a low range radio station versus a, a cell tower nearby? Seems like the large range is almost too compare, comprehensive to give appropriate information. I think that our intuition is right in the sense that it's going to take everything that it measures and then give you, you know, is it average intensity that is showing? Is, is that it or peak strength? It's showing it's showing the amount of energy that's coming onto that antenna, no matter yeah. it's not distinguishing between the frequency. Exactly. So yeah. in that case, what you want to do is you want to be listening to the sound. And it takes a trained ear to kind of start to to learn this. But as you as you have it and you're like turning off your Wi-Fi, turning on your Wi-Fi, you'll be able to hear what the Wi-Fi sounds like. Uh, you know, you can you can get a piece of shielding fabric and wrap the wrap the meter in shielding fabric and listen to what it sounds like through the shielding fabric versus outside of the shielding fabric. Um, and then you can also, uh, I, if you really want to experiment with like devices and things in your house, I recommend just to, just to go on to like our website, either at shielded healing or the shielding shop and purchasing a, a yard of the fabric and you know, there was a podcast I did with Ben Greenfield where I was doing that to all of his biohacking devices. We were throwing them all inside the Mercola tent with, you know, that's a big Faraday cage. And I was testing everything inside the tent because it was extremely difficult to test in an area that's not shielded. So if you have a piece of fabric, you can do the same thing. You just put the meter inside with the device that you want to test, like like an Aura Ring or an Apple Watch or you know, earbuds or whatever, um, any product that can fit in, you know, about a, a yard of shielding fabric. And you can start to test to see if things are emitting or not that way. Um, and, and then you can also use the shielding fabric while you're testing to kind of get more directional of where is this field coming from? Because if you're shielding everything from one direction, you know that the, and, and it gets, it gets higher when you turn a certain way. Like if that means the signal is coming from that opposite direction. So if mm -hmm. I have the shielding fabric up like this, and I've got my Semprotec 33 here, and I'm detecting, like like say, I'm, say I've got it up like this, and I detect like, oh man, it's higher. Like it's lower when I'm like this facing you guys, but it's higher when I'm like this. That means the signals are coming from this direction and hitting the meter or reflecting off the shielding fabric and going toward toward me. Oh, that's a very good trick. I never thought about it. I, I do have uh, some fabric I can use, so that's a that's a neat trick for everyone. Yeah, and this is yeah. I guess even even when hunting for sources, the the way that. I, if I can share in a few min, few seconds, how I use the CMP33 or 34 is just, you know, getting very close to sources that you suspect might be emitting. And when you get very close to them, you'll see the lights going up in the red range if they are indeed emitting. Sometimes, again, if the background is all red, everything is maxed out and the, the sound is screeching, sometimes it makes it difficult. But in many situations, you can actually hear the router if it's on, you're going to hear it get louder. And then you go back a little bit, it gets fainter and louder and fainter, you know, and going back and forth that way can kind of confirm that, okay, this machine is emitting something, which is bizarre because it should be off. And then you unplug it or you go into settings and you can verify uh, car dashboards, you can verify alarm clocks, you can verify smart appliances, anything you suspect might be emitting, even your computer or sometimes you, you don't realize there's an update. And now your Wi-Fi antenna is on, is on again. I, I got caught. I got caught by uh, Patrick Vanderberg, one of the top guys at GeoVital, came to my home in Montreal. And Patrick is uh, a great guy, you know, very experienced. He has all these meters and the body antennas. And he comes to my office and I'm all proud, you know, this is not a clean environment, but I'm in Montreal. But my computer for sure, Patrick, 
my computer is wired. Don't worry about it. And he puts the meter up. It's in the red zone right in front of my computer. And I'm like, what? And it had updated maybe three weeks prior. And it opened the Bluetooth antenna by default. I was yeah. so frustrated at Apple. It was my my Mac computer at the time. Now I have PC, but it's not better. If you do a major update, like you update from Windows 10 to 11, sometimes yeah. they might just decide, oh, now your Wi-Fi antenna is turned on and Bluetooth antenna is turned on, yeah. even though I'm wired in, right? So these kind of things, you just go around and and use the, the RF of the Zen ProTech. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy, Pino. I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle, along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a Cars master Masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did, and we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit emfcircle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you then.